It's 21 minutes before the hour. Frank Schiavo hasn't taken out the trash in 15 years. He hasn't had to. He's recycled and reused his waste so efficiently that he's been exempt from paying for garbage removal until now. Last week, the City Council of San Jose, California voted to make him pay for a service he says he doesn't use. Frank Schiavo is fighting back and he joins us from his home this morning in San Jose. Good morning and welcome. Good morning, Paula. So we mentioned you haven't had to uh, have your trash picked up in 15 years. How is that possible? Well, we compost our table scraps and recycle everything else and I'll show you our little home recycling center right here. Okay. Down here I have newspapers that are ready to be recycled. Okay. S small amount of aluminum cans, bottles, and over here I've got broken down cardboard, toilet paper tubes, egg crates, broken down soap box, and this is office paper and material that we get from school. My wife and I are both teachers and uh, this is the kind of thing we have to keep up with. But this is all going to the recycling center, which I do privately. And, and what and is then, it that you can't, you can't recycle at this point? The only thing that we can't recycle really, are just, I just saved only a few odds and ends here in the last 10 days for you folks. This is a soap wrapper and the neck off a wine bottle. And I cut this little plastic window out of a business envelope. Mm -hmm. This business envelope is now ready for recycling down with the white paper. So what is your That's about it. Yeah, what is your specific complaint then with the, the San Jose City Council right now? Well, my specific complaint is that the city has a new contract and now after 15 years of no garbage uh, payment, the city has insisted that everyone pays garbage whether they use it or not. But of course their and argument is a lot of people pay taxes for schools and they don't have children in them. What's the difference in, in this case with, with the garbage fee? Well, the difference here, I have no disagreement, no argument at all about the fact that taxpayers, all of us, should pay for schools, police, fire, sewage. Those kinds of things are enormous projects. They have to be funded publicly through tax dollars. This is low technology. This is simple. Uh, this is a way that an individual can take care of their own uh, garbage, so to speak, and take the responsibility for recycling on their own. And it's done in a simple way that protects neighborhood and community health contributes to the environmental uh, conservation that I'm committed to and uh, doesn't even require a truck to stop on our property. There never has been a truck stop at our property. And that's in large part due to the composting you do. Why don't you show exactly. us uh, how, how you do that? Okay, let me just bring you right down the sidewalk here to the front yard. Right out in front here is this beautiful soil. We call it our homemade soil, although we have a lot of help from worms and bacteria. They're the good guys that get rid of the smell, right? These are the good guys that get rid of the smell. This area right in here is all been buried within about the last three months. This is what I call my vintage material. This is, this is kept purposely covered by a small amount of hay. And that's just to keep the worms nice and moist and comfortable. And if you were here right now, what would you can I smell? See that this is nice, nice, sweet smelling soil. It smells just like uh, being in a forest after a rain. Wow. Well, we, we congratulate you on, on your efforts to be as efficient as you are, and we'll keep uh, our audience posted on where your uh, actions go with the San Jose City Council. Frank, thanks so much for joining us. Thanks this for your interest and help. Okay. Thanks very much. We'll be back.